Here's uh, one of the first prototypes on this project. Um, install it with those uh, little drawer runners there. They're pretty cheap and they're easy to install and everything. But I don't like them because uh, they take up so my much room right here. My here. toolbox. Uh, this is my toolbox. Um, and only he has a big one. It's uh, almost twice as twice as wide as this and twice as tall and it's got one of those you know big open air areas down here and he wants me to put drawers in the toolbox um, well I've been thinking about the problem and I think I came up with a solution good morning and uh, welcome to another Memphis Monday my uh, Today we got a fun project. I'm going to be uh, building myself some sh uh, drawers for my toolbox, as I just said in the introduction. My buddy, uh, the story is my buddy asked me to, to build him some drawers uh, to put sockets and that kind of stuff in, in his big uh, movable toolbox. Well, the problem is he lives about halfway across the country, and uh, and the toolbox he needs is really, really big. Uh, so I've tried to come up with a, uh, I've tried to come up with a novel solution. So let me show you uh, the uh, solution I've come up with, and we'll get started. We'll knock off the chatter and get to work. What I finally decided on was something like this, and. Here's the drawer. It's going to be a slide-out drawer that, uh, and these are going to be designed to be stackable. I've already, uh, I've already uh, made one, and I've already found some things I need to change. So let's uh, let's make the second one and uh, uh, get started. The first thing I need to change is the thickness of that uh, piece of wood right there, or, uh, the width of it, because I got about a, an eighth of an inch too much gap in this drawer. It still works fine, but it's easy to, easy to push in and out, but it's still a little bit sloppy. So I think I can uh, take an eighth of an inch off that board which I've already done uh, you see that I've uh, trimmed trim that trim that sideboard right there so it's a little bit thinner or, or less wide okay the first thing I'm going to do is attach this is the uh, drawer housing or compartment I'm going to nail together the sides and the back um, I'm going to glue them and nail. I'm not using any fancy joinery here as a matter of fact all I'm using is glue and big nails one of the reasons I don't need uh, any fancy joinery is because the frame of this thing will be supported by a piece of plywood on both sides Now one sheet I'm using is, I've made sure that this uh, sheet of plywood is, is perfectly square so that I can square up my frame. I can square up my frame uh, by just uh, bringing the frame out to meet the edge of the plywood. 
Well, here's our here's our new box. We'll see if our uh, <coughs> see if our drawer fits into it. Yeah, I took that play out of it. All right, let's make let's build Another a drawer. Another thing I discovered uh, during my first go at this was that my drawer sides were too thick. These are three quarters of an inch. Well, that takes up a lot of drawer space and it's just unnecessarily thick. So what I've done, this is the uh, this is the wood I'm using for the for the drawer box. Uh, it's three quarters of an inch, but the drawer itself will only be a half an inch. Let's cut the uh, let's cut the drawer pieces. Now I'll fiddle with these. I'll fiddle with these cuts until until this uh, until this piece is exactly 21 okay, and a quarter. On the drawer, I'm uh, using the same butt joints as I used on the box. But since the wood is a quarter an inch thinner, I'm using the 16 gauge brads. And you notice I got it uh, 90 degrees to the wood. Uh, that's how you can keep it from blowing out. Okay, big test. Let's see if the drawer fits in this new box. It do. Oh man, it's flush too. That's good. The next step, the next step is to install the drawer front. It'll go like this. Okay, next thing is to uh, route uh, this little curved edge right here. I can get away with this trick because what I'm going to do is put the brads in um, at about the same place I put the uh, handles on so the brads will be hidden. One last check there for stackability. Looks good. Let me attach that uh, that drawer front uh, permanently to the drawer. Okay, simple matter here. Uh, I'll simply be attaching the drawer front through the back with a couple of screws. I'm countersinking the screws now. Okay, now it's just a matter of uh, putting in a couple of holes that I already marked with brads for the uh, handles. When you, when you buy these handles you get, uh, two, you get two screws. Here's the handles. You get a little package and you get two screws in the package. You get a long one and you get a short one. Uh, the short one is if you have a single uh, front, and the long one is if you have a double front, like in my case. Okay, so these go through the hole, and the handle just screws in from the other side. 
All right, let's uh, next uh, op is to slide this thing in and see what she looks like. All right, there's my new prototype. That gives me more room here between the drawers. And the, the drawers are tighter. All right, let me build uh, two more drawers and uh, we'll see what the menagerie looks like. Okay, I think we deserve a drum roll. I'm positioning the uh, uh, the drawer front on here just where I want it. I've already marked <coughs> where I'm going to put the handles, the Lexus. Now I'm going to run a brad right next to where I'm going to put that handle. So that'll hold the, uh, the uh, drawer front uh, together, and when I put the handle on, you won't be able to see where the brads went through. Well, here they are, but. This isn't really. This isn't really uh, doing. Uh, this isn't going to work. We're going to have to try something else. Let me take them. Take them out and put them out on the table. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I really like these things. You can. You can move them. Uh, move them wherever you want them. Nice little drawers. Uh, you know, I guess if you had five of them, you could put another one up here. If they have eight of them, you could, uh, I don't know, you could uh, put a board between them and make a little coffee table. But stackable, stackable drawer system. I never see anything like it, but I'm quite sure somebody else has invented them. Well, I've got to figure out where to put these because underneath my workbench, isn't going to work. Well, I guess that does it for another uh, Memphis Monday. Uh, I think we got our money's worth uh, uh, this week, building these little stackable drawers. Uh, looks like a pretty uh, versatile and useful project. I'd like to think I invented this, but I know I didn't. Um, what else? Oh, uh, I figured out what I'm going to do with these. Uh, anyway, my wife did. Uh, she saw them, and she liked them. And so we're going to uh, move them into the house. So that uh, dilemma is solved. All right, so make sure you comment. But more than anything, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting adventure. See you, see you next Monday.